Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where the Queen Elizabeth class is, or the, the, the class in general, with some cruiser support, are going to try and flatten Hamburg. <laughs> Not content with flattening every other German port. So uh, the way that the, the patches normally roll out, Toby, is um, you get this intense update, update, update for the betas. And once once it's quite stable, then they'll add new hulls and any other remaining features for the update. Um, so you can kind of get it two halves, and then there'll be a lot more testing. And then once it's pretty stable, um, they'll they'll it'll go onto the public live branch, and then. Uh, once it's on the live branch, um, they will uh, then start talking about 107. All right. Good to see the Queen Elizabeth's representing. So you have War Spite in the lead. And then I think Valiant, Queen Elizabeth, and Malaya at the back. Uh, who started the war? Um, uh, Germany started the war. Um, as is typical, I stayed in port. Didn't do anything. The, the A German AI will aggressively reduce relations with the British AI or player by sending ships into the North Sea. There's nothing you can do about it. And then they send you a demand which you can either accept or say no to. But accepting it is so ridiculously punishing. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to do that. Not unless you had to. You know, if you're playing China in your early game, you've got, like, nothing or something. I can see you picking that option, but I don't, I don't see any other nation ever kind of accepting a turn like that. Apart from the French AI, which did. Uh, I saw it in the log. Continue to uh, slowly advance on them. Upgradable ports is a really good one. Um, the, the economy model is basic, uh, but I know it's not finished yet. Like there's some aspects to it that, that aren't, aren't currently functioning. But it's important to remember with the game. You're not in charge of Britain or, or Germany or, or, or whoever you're playing. You're only in charge of the Admiralty. So you know you get an event saying, "What should we do?" That that is them ask. You know that's the government coming to you as first sea lord or whatever, and uh, you say, "Well, I think you should do this," and they'll listen to you. But you are not in command. You're not in charge of the country. For that. Uh, you'll have to wait until I'm playing Victoria 3. Um, <laughs> that, that's basically Vicky 3. If you want a complex economy, societal simulation, and land combat, uh, Vic Victoria 3 is, is the game for you. Funnily enough, uh, give a chance to plug it. My very, very early videos, the very first ones I did back before I took a multi year hiatus from the channel, was uh, on uh, Victoria Revolutions, the uh, very first uh, Victoria game. Uh, you can avoid war indefinitely, but you'll um, you'll go bankrupt. Currently, I mean, in the in, uh, ultimate. Apple. 
that's that's the only issue. And if you go bankrupt, then it's game over. So, because you'll be replaced. <laughs> that's the problem. So you never really, really want to accept paying Germany a hundred million dollars um, unless you really have no other choice. The Birmingham being uh, very uh, ballsy. Oh my goodness, Twitchy D's, 600 bits. Thank you very much. I do have a grudge against the Kriegsmarine. Yes, definitely. This is the first, second, th this, this is the fourth war we fought against the, the Germans since 1890. Oh, you don't want to bunch up like that. There's going to be a lot of shells coming their way. even some torpedoes, yep. Birmingham has those two torpedoes. Oh, down goes the Odin. Just burnt down with mass AG spam, which is insane. Like, a battleship should not be going down to, going down to that. That's insane. It does have standard bulkheads, but that armour is, is no good. Goodbye to the torpedo on the bath cruiser. Why you're putting torpedoes on a bath cruiser, I have no idea. Uh, sorry, Rose. Um, apparently, the Annihilation of Germany um, auto mod has woken up and said, that's not okay. It's a game, Automod. It's a game. Relax. <laughs> Obviously, uh, German friends, if you're, if you're watching this, and I know I do have viewers in Germany, I, I do apologise. I will be doing a German campaign at some point, um, of course, and you can get some revenge. And maybe recently, well, recently as I'm recording this, we got the um, German... German campaign uh, that I did, which was incredibly successful with the uh, Yorick. Yeah, and, other, and it just burned down. Like, I'm not using a particularly high HE build. These are these are firing base-fused shells. That's the standard, pretty much the standard HE shell. Um, just completely unable to survive that amount of punishment. Look at that. Jesus. God. Fire does look really nice in this game. Like it's really nice. It's quite high demand as well on my PC, so I can tell if I've got a lot of, uh, particularly transports, a bunch of sinking transports, then the uh, game really slows down, but looks fantastic. Ah, yes, you're quite right, G. G Twitter. Yeah, the work in progress with with the economy on that on that level. Um, and some of the things that should happen don't. But it's still very early early days for the campaign. As we uh well butcher the small ships. Really? Torpedoing your own battleship. Really necessary. <laughs> Maybe they're scuttling it. But uh, I think it's pretty irrecoverable. Oh my god. War Spike absolutely obliterating that. Destroy it. Yeah, huge, just huge quantities of shells. And splat. 
<laughs> Malaya. <laughs> just just cutting the ship in half. Nicely done. Well, uh, who gets the shiny medal? Uh, shiny medal goes to the war spike. <laughs> Nine point four thousand damage. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh my goodness! Right. <laughs> Something wrong with those ships today. See, what well, what really bugged me is the AI, the battle cruiser they had. In you guys on Twitch will get to see this when the YouTube episodes come out. The battle cruiser they design they have there is a refit. The original version was actually really good. It was really heavily armored, um, and it was pretty fast. Uh, the guns weren't anything special, fourteen inch, but you know it was it's okay. Like um, and and they they could do damage, but yeah, they they refitted them and ruined them. Uh, yeah, blow up Hamburg. <laughs> Sorry, Hamburg. Collects it. Yes. Uh, well, yes and no. So this is a sequel to the British campaign that's currently on YouTube, the 1890 campaign. Although there are two other sequels in between. So I've gone 1890, 1910, 1920, 1930. Just to get around, save resets. Right. Send them back out. Where's the other one hiding? That'll do, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, can fit any ships down in Yarmouth? Yeah, all those ships go down to Yarmouth. <laughs> yeah. Do you only have two heavy cruisers and 28 destroyers? And they are currently building 25 ships. Now, I don't know what those are, um, but uh, yeah, they are, they are in trouble. They are definitely in trouble. However, not my problem. Um, did... Tamara join the fleet. She did. Because we need to go and help out the French. So I'm going to send all of these ships down to Gibraltar. A whole lot of you. A little Otter Hungarian fleet there, but uh, I don't think that's going to be a huge problem. He says, and then it sinks my whole fleet or something. And yeah, we, we have their ports pretty much bottled up. Somehow that's not a blockade. <laughs> Despite a 10 to 1 advantage in power projection and a fleet sitting right off their coast. But hey-ho. Oh, that Austro-Hungarian destroyer managed to slip past us. Oh, wow, we are, they're already down in Gibraltar. That was fast. Um, can you get to Malta? Send them to Malta. <laughs> See if that uh, gets the uh, Mediterranean fleets interested, because I don't think the French have a huge amount down here. No, they don't. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Hardmore. Right, the end. We did manage to make it to uh, Malta. Nelson and Cumberland have found a combined Italian-Austro-Hungarian fleet. Fascinating. Well, that's an interesting looking battle cruiser. The cost is a bit... Because hmm, 70 million is not a lot of money. Eight 15 and a half inch guns, it's not bad. Armor could be good or could be rubbish. You can't really tell. Um, shitting hell, that's a lot of torpedoes. <laughs> okay, that thing needs to die. And a destroyer. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, got to be double. You need to blockade all of their ports and sea zones to get a blockade. Okay, I'll try sending the fleet over to the Baltic then. Uh, da, 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 da. Cumberland screen Nelson, please. Right, let's have a look at you. You are presumably a battle cruiser. Oh my goodness. Well, I see why it was. Oh, what? What have you done? Just that turret is going to make this ship. I don't think this has much armor because it'd be so heavy. I think they've struggled. I think they'll have like a 20, 20 inch turret face, and then the rest of it's going to be like 9 inches or something. Stupid. Right, here's the heavy cruiser that must die. Look at that. Jesus. Get a hit. Mm, 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 mm. So, um, for the full story on this Twitch and East, you'll need to see the 1920 uh, campaign, or the first video when it comes out on YouTube. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, she, she doesn't look like Nelson. <laughs> um, she is very much a what if ship. these on any of them yet. It makes it hard to tell what the best approach is. Still pretty long range engagement at the moment. Relatively speaking. Cumberland, focus on that destroyer please. Oh lovely. Big hits, a pair of them. Right through the main deck. Oh Jesus, Nelson's uh, decided to shoot up the destroyer as well. fired her torps but uh, I haven't seen them are they electrics they are electrics hmm I mean Cumberland has just executed a turn so it's hard to tell yeah basically yeah the, this Nelson is a uh, See that, Queen Elizabeth? We like that. Make it bigger with 16 inch guns. <laughs> uh, evil saw boss. I'm not quite sure where the uh, breaks in the words are. Um, thank you for the follow. <laughs> well, I... Funny you should mention that. Um, Eternal, the, the we do have an Admiral class, uh, which is the same, but with a turret removed, which is exactly... Well, same, same idea, but with a turret removed, which is exactly 
kind of how the British approached battle cruiser design all the time. You know, you do uh, run a battleships and then add a battle cruiser. Oh, hello. Here comes the Kaiser in with the 48 torpedoes. AP shell. I know it's a destroyer, but let's do it. Hello. Thank you. Of course you miss. No sign of those torps. Very good coming in. Tough little destroyer. Uh, but I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Anymore. Right, let's have a look at you. Principe Carlo, 31.2 knots. Okay. Cordite Dunite gun. Shit armour. <laughs> really is an all or nothing scheme. Um, okay. And you are a very slow heavy cruiser with a million torpedoes. Only 19 inch. And they are standards? No, they're fasts. Okay, so she'll have a short range then. I mean, I'll be inside it, but they, they will be short ranged. Right, Cumberland. Keep your distance then. Clipped it. Um, well, remember now Cumbrian um, butt guns, as you uh, call them. <laughs> they no longer mean that you have a gun sticking out the Citadel because the game will automatically adjust the Citadel armour to make sure that it always covers all the turrets. Um, which does help the AI considerably. The problem is the ship is going to be morbidly obese and that's why it has such a weird armour scheme. Because it's spending so much of its weight on the armour. Actually fire to torps. They are. Oh, they're going all over the place. Shit. <laughs> of course they are. Right, no thank you. Wow. How did she dump out at once? It's insane. Nelson is trying to focus down the heavy cruiser. Cumberland, uh, can you just follow Nelson, please? There you go, thank you. Oh, lovely. Destroyed torpedo. Fire flooding. You got any left? Nope. Do not care about you, then. Bum, 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 bum. Lovely hit. Look at that. 900 damage. Yeah, took out a secondary gun, but you know, those are not heavily armoured. The rest of Nelson really is. Now 
them with a 100% chance to hit. No, oh, what it was. I'm down again now. Why are you firing HE, Nelson? Fire uh, AP. Demolishing the Principe Carlo there. Absolutely wrecking her. Hey, Praetorianus! Hello! I see it. How you doing? Better than these Italians, I hope. Right. Baby gone. Come back. Still have words for you. That's right. It's just a glorified like cruiser. The kind, even, not even that. It's too slow. It's overall bad. It's only party tricker that is that torpedo spam. Too slow to use that effectively. <laughs> Never bring any torpedoes again, I know. Uh, yeah, campaign. Indeed. Uh, I'm doing okay. Heavy cruiser to sink. Just that one destroyer who's limping away. Um, but uh, not very effectively. We're going to get dealt with. Uh, countries disappear in the campaign. That is, if you completely eliminate a country, they'll. Um... Holy shit. <laughs> 27,800 damage. Um, uh, that, that's you wipe them out. They're, they're gone. You've eliminated them. So in the full campaign, when there's ten nations, like that's one way to win. Just eliminate all other nations. Um, or make it to 1950. That's good, I think, the two ways you can win. Um, right. Good stuff. Uh, oh my god, battles. Battles everywhere. Uh, we have a port strike again. Pilau. Okay. Um, I think by this fleet here. And then, Jesus, two convoys in an ambush. 
heavy cruiser on its own. Three heavy cruisers. <laughs> Battleships versus destroyers. And... Oh, that one could be interesting. Okay, chat. Uh, your choice. Which one do you want to do first? The last German cruiser. You, oh, wait. Yes, you're right. We're doing, we're doing this one. Sorry, chat. You, you lost your chance. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the last two heavy cruisers. The last two cruisers. The last two things the Germans have that are not destroyers running into the Malaya, the Queen Elizabeth, and the Valiant, along with Norfolk and Suffolk. So, yeah, let's get to it. You can't say stuff like that, Kalexi. <laughs> you mean, um, remove my video game opponents. <laughs> oh, dear me. Queen Elizabeth was absolutely doing work in this campaign. As is only proper. All right. Screen, turn that off. Let's go. Enemy in sight. Coming right at us. <laughs> Small Dreadnought. Small Dreadnought Hull is, is probably one of my favourites in the game. A really, really nice hull. And here come the last two remaining Deutschlands. Well, they're not Deutschlands, but they're, they're not according to the game. But they are, pretty much are. Um, haven't seen one for a while. Target lock bug. Just wondering why we're hitting. There we go. AI's maneuvering everywhere. Almost like they're trying to throw me off. Six-inch guns, fire! <laughs> Don't discount six-inch. Gonna be a ton of that coming in. Norfolk thinks she uh, has a good chance, but she's got a target lock bug, so... Oi, no, no, no. Get back to your screening. Thank you. Just want you to actually hit something, that's all.
unlike the 1920s campaign, no bugs in the game anymore where heavy cruisers are magically able to shrug off 15 inch guns. <laughs> oh, hello. There's some torpedoes there. Norfolk. Detach. Hard of war. Ooh, the jinky one. Oh my word, that was close. <laughs> Suffolk. Uh, yeah, you are on your own already. I saw another torpedo launch. Yeah, I did. And another one. Shit. Should have had them turning sooner than that. Damn. I was hoping it would be a dud because of the angle. No such luck. Still, you know, the counties have. Um, well, at least my version, the counties have a torpedo blister. That means they are on a reload. Which means they're not going to be able to do anything about being shot to bits. No. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Ammo dead. Oh, Jesus. Poor old Coronel. hit to the Suffolk. And they do have pretty chunky guns, those cruisers. Although they used to be bigger. They used to be an 11.7 inch gun. They've reduced them down to 11s, which is not as good. One million. Uh, two tips going everywhere. Yeah, they are more expensive than my heavy cruisers. And sadly, the uh, courageous class, which would would perfect for dealing with these. Sadly, not ready yet. My torpedoes. Excellent. Well, the big launcher anyway. Best thing to see happen to a ship. That's not yours, obviously. Oh, 
Oh, you shit. Oh, well. Again. And torpedo blister. And I did can do that again. Punch full of holes. And eventually they'll fall apart. There we go. Down goes the last major ship <laughs> in the German fleet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Good, good, good. Right. I think that's a good place to end the episode. Um, lots of fights to do in the next one, but that will be in the next one. I'll see you then. Uh, Till then, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.